let's get let's get true color here okay yeah no yes <laughs> just kidding hi guys hope you're doing well last weekend I got my hair done for fall yes I go by seasons no not really fall and spring I usually like to get my hair done to where I'm gonna have it stay for the next two seasons if that makes sense so fall fall and winter spring spring and summer so yeah um, this is the first time I've gone red before and I am loving it love the red what do you guys think yay nay maybe but yeah um kept about the same length and layers and I just want to also share kind of my favorite products that I like to use shampoo conditioners dry shampoo all that so yeah now that you can see it up close hopefully hopefully the lighting's picking up the true color I think it is um, we lighten my brows a little bit too so it's more of like a taupe so I'm using a different brow product too because I don't want to keep my brows as dark as they were and I think it goes really well yeah so okay let's get into kind of my favorite every day every week kind of products. so the shampoo and conditioner that I use is the matrix by wash and it's the color last and these are no no proben no no parabens yeah I'm like what was the word <laughs> And yeah, so shampoo and conditioner, I wash my hair probably twice a week. I try to go three days without shampoo and conditioner. And that's just to, you know, really help the longevity of getting my hair colored and also not drying out my hair. I have pretty thin hair, so the less shampoo and conditioner I do, the less damage I do because wetting your hair also damages your hair, so... For the dry shampoo, I like the Sebastian Dry Clean Only, so Professional Sebastian, and that's the dry shampoo. It does come out a little white, but once you rub it in to the roots, or I usually take it down here too because I get really oily down here as well in my hair. So, um... I've had this for about two months, so it lasts pretty long even though it's an aerosol. And then it, the smells kind of, it smells kind of like hairspray, <laughs> but it goes away. It doesn't linger, so I like it because there's some dry shampoos I can't do because of the smell. I'm really sensitive to smell, so it doesn't bother me that it smells a little bit like their hairspray. And then as far as when I do wash my hair, you know, I shampoo, conditioner, and I need to get my, another deep repair mask. I want to say it's macadamia oil deep repair mask. Repair mask. <laughs> um, I'll insert like a picture down in the description box. I'll also put exactly what I'm talking about. I don't have it with me. I need to pick one up, but it's a deep repair mask that I'll use once a week, and I'll only use it from like here down to condition the bottom of my hair. So after I shampoo and condition and once a week do the hair mask, then I will go in with this My Amazing Blow Dry Secret. And it has basically two liquids and you shake it up really well to where it looks like more of a milky color. And then you just spray this around. I try not to do anything on the roots of my hair um, because I again would get a lot of oil there even if I put a volumizing product so I just try not to do anything on the roots of my hair and this smells amazing it smells like the salon and it's like you can never recreate that smell when you get home this helps me recreate that smell <laughs> so I love it it makes my hair dry super fast it helps with the blow dry stay it's an it's an amazing product it's a heat protectant too and it also helps shine so really great product if I'm not going to blow dry my hair, I'll use different products. So I will use, well, I also use this as well in when I dry, blow dry my hair and when I don't. And this is Josie Maron's 100% Pure Argon Oil. I love this. This was a sample um, bottle and it has like a little dropper. And I just literally do the very tips. Every like little strand, so my short layers, I'll do the tips of that. 
And the another really good one I want to say is, I can't think of the name right now, but I'll also put a picture of what it is. And that oil is really good too. And I have to use a light version because, again, my hair is super thin and it weigh it down if I have too thick of an oil. So definitely oil at the end of my tips to help seal in so I don't get split ends. I love using It's a 10 if I'm not going to blow dry my hair and just let it air dry. And this does basically like 10 different things, you know, helps with frizz, shine, heat protectant, 10 different things. So <laughs> I can't think of all of them right now, but it's a great product and this also smells super yummy. <sighs> smells like the salon again. <laughs> so. This does not weigh my hair down. I believe there is like a keratin one if you get like a lot of frizzies and I, I don't know if there's a light version of this one but I like this one. It doesn't weigh my hair down and I literally just do two spritz and just again like not in my roots. I'll do it from here down and love that. If I want to add like a little shine, whether I blow dry my hair or air dry it, this is super good. It's the Redkins Diamond Oil Shatterproof Shine. And I got this off of Amazon. And I've had this, I don't know, six months and look at it, barely anything. Super heavy glass, but pretty too. I mean, it'd be nice to have on the table or on your dresser. Super cute and it makes your hair really shiny. I actually didn't use it today, but let's let's do that. And this, oh my gosh, you only have to use like literally one drop. That's probably why I haven't used too much of it. And you can use it on wet hair, dry hair, and just adds a nice shine to your hair. The smells kind of meh. Don't really care for the smell. But the product itself is really good. If I'm going to curl my hair, these are the two products that I use. Can you tell I like Sebastian products? <laughs> so this one is Sebastian Shine Define. And it's like Okay, so it's described as shine and flexible hold hairspray, but it's also a heat protectant. So what you do is before you curl a piece of your hair, you spray this, comb it through, and then curl it. And it helps me hold a curl because my hair, if I don't put this in, will not hold a curl. It is like stick straight. It ain't going to go wavy, nothing. Mm -mm. No, I'm not going to. It's just... I need to put product. It sucks, but it's good to have a heat protectant. And this one doesn't weigh my hair down, but a lot have, and so it's literally just flat and then like volume. And I don't really want to tease because again, that could break up my hair. I know you could do it gentle, but hmm, I'm kind of like, I can spend an hour and a half on my makeup and have fun with it. I can like spend 10 minutes with my hair. I'm like over it. I really don't like doing my hair. Is that sad? Is anyone else like that? I don't know. And then to hold my hair, I use the Extra Hold Hairspray Shaper Plus. And this works really well. I literally just have to do a couple of sprays and wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. It stays all day. This is like the only hairspray that doesn't weigh my hair down and will keep the curl all day. It does have that really bad hairspray smell, but... You know, I get over it. it. It doesn't linger, so that's always a good thing. But yeah, so those are all the products that I usually use, um, minus the deep repair mask and the other oil. Those are just two things I just don't have currently, but I, the Aragon oil I can use in a substitute, but I do need to get that deep repair mask. Just, you know, it's nice to keep your hair really conditioned and healthy. And I go about every three months to get my hair colored and cut. If I see split ends, you know, that's usually an indication that, okay, time to go. But I don't know, like, it sucks getting it cut, but I know it's for a good reason. It's going to grow back healthier and shinier if I get it trimmed. So I would love to have super long, thick hair, don't we all? But that's what our extensions are for, right? <laughs> Definitely want to get in some cute clip-ins. I don't know 
if I'll get any red ones to color match my hair. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care. Hi guys. Thanks for clicking on my video today. I wanted to do 